We're on track right now. The Compacts of Free Association for the Marshall Islands, Federated States of Micronesia and Palau expire in the next year. The renegotiation of those terms first inked in the 1980s, now back to the drawing board. Our package was submitted, uh, fully completed after uh, FSM-wide consolidation. And uh, we've held our uh, first round of uh, formal negotiations in the uh, end of uh, uh, June. And in the next uh, few weeks, uh, we're coming around to the second round. Our, our target is to complete the negotiations with the U.S. by September. And then uh, uh, we hope that we can sign it and submit it to the U.S. Congress and have some Congress for for final consideration. And the FSM president, president says his last visit to D.C. in May was to meet with former U.S. Ambassador Joseph Yoon, who's now the special presidential envoy for compact negotiations. Amid rising tensions in the Asia-Pacific, strategic military expansion is expected to play a vital part in these negotiations. And eyes also placed on the financial support Hawaii, Guam, and the NMI need from the federal government to support migrants from the freely associated states. A lot of our citizens uh, live, work, and pursue education in these uh, areas. We contribute to the local economy, and uh, you know uh, we're mostly welcome. Uh, you know, U.S. is an open country, and so the comeback negotiations is dealing with that. And I know the uh, comeback impact is an issue that is always talked about by these territories and the state of Hawaii. The comeback itself allows for that. Uh, there's funding. I think it's capped at uh, 30 million. Uh, for the compact impact, and we hope that these, uh, you know, states and territories uh, in their talks can uh, work with the U.S. Congress to increase that. Governor Lulian Guerrero told KUAM that her administration sent a list of issues through the Department of Interior. It's unfortunate that uh, also one of the ways that we can uh, that we can make our concerns and issues known is through the congressman's office and he's actually been very absent from that uh, negotiation so we um, you know we find other ways that we can make our case you know, we wanted to have immigration vet the immigrants that come through here because by compact negotiations or compact uh, it is very clear that uh, they are allowed to travel uh, for education, medical need, and also uh, work. And so for us, it would be so much uh, better if uh, the immigrants that come here were very welcoming, uh, already either have a job or they're going already to school, or yes, they're here for medical, so that there is already a way of them to assimilate into the community.